there's just no one and the whole day is just waiting for you. I feel like, ah! <laughs> so much fun. everyone good morning good afternoon or good evening welcome to another video on the opera anna channel today i am taking you through a working day at the mozart masterclass and more at the international vocal competitions masterclass in saratokan bos normally the ivc holds a huge competition every year in either opera and oratorio or art song but because of the Restrictions forced upon them by COVID-19, they had to reduce down to this masterclass format with only audition singers that they invited. I was one of two mezzo-sopranos and eight total singers that were invited to participate, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was so much fun to be able to work with people and see other people sing, especially in these times of just intense... Uh, the masters as they're never usually called anymore because everyone just considers themselves a colleague, but for the sake of tradition, we'll call them masters. Dutch baritone Thomas Olimans, American soprano Roberta Alexander, and Bulgarian mezzo-soprano Veselina Kasarova. Each singer was asked to choose five arias and one duet to bring along to the masterclass, and I chose these. Non so più cosa son from Le Note di Figaro, Tu fosti tradito from La Clavenza di Tito, Zmanie Implacabili from Così fan tutte, and two concert arias that Mozart actually wrote for an opera that he didn't write. It was written by a Spanish composer, Martin Isoler. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please don't come at me. Varo Madove and Chissà Chissà Qual Sia. The duet that I chose to bring to the masterclass is called A Guarda Sorella from Così fan tutte. Every day we worked with the masters on vocal technique and musicality and just general stage presence in all the pieces that we brought. We were in groups of four, so one soprano, one mezzo, one tenor, and one bass baritone. So I was able to hear such a large swath of Mozart repertoire, as well as hear the same struggles coming up in each voice um, and see how other people dealt with it see how the masters worked with this person as opposed to this person. Just really interesting. I never get bored of watching the master classes because it's just so, it's just so much fun. <laughs> and it was just so nice to be able to do something. Ugh. And you could tell that everyone was just so grateful to be doing something in these COVID times. In general, master classes are a great place to get perspective and see that you're not alone in your struggles and in your triumphs. And they can get you out of your head in that sense. Sometimes we sit in the practice room for hours on end and we're just like, oh my God, oh my God. At the end of this week, we performed a live concert streamed online and I sang Vado Madove and the duet from Così fan tutte a Guarda Sorella with Dutch soprano Eleonora Ho. It's like, yeah. And am I not enjoying this tremendously? It's not. I'll. I'll. Yeah. Your parents will be so happy with me. No. <laughs> So it's, ah, uh, sound, 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 and also think of this, it's outrageous. Tell us again how you feel about cucumber. <laughs> The master that I worked with the most was Veselina Kasarova, who is herself a mezzo, albeit a very, very different one than I am. So it was really interesting to work with her. She's so shy and so kind that you would never assume that she's just such a stage animal. It was, it's crazy. And her voice is just beyond. Oh 
Also, she's mainly worked in Germany and not in an English-speaking country. So her German is much better than her English, which meant that we spent the entire masterclass speaking German, which was amazing practice for me. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Und dann, wenn du äh, machst so, dann verlierst du Luft und dann wird es äh, äh, knapp. Okay. Du denkst, es wird knapp. Und wenn du schon beginnst zu denken, es wird knapp, es wird knapp. Okay. Niemand kann dir helfen. Okay? Bei yeah. uns ist immer die Psyche. <laughs> Even though we're both technically mezzos, our voices are so different because there are lots of different levels within one voice type. A coloratura soprano. <laughs> not the same as a full lyric soprano. Or even a dramatic soprano. Definitely not. And that's the same with Veselina and I. We also had the privilege of working with Dutch baritone Thomas Olimans, who is from Holland and he has a super impressive resume. I've seen him perform multiple times at the Dutch National Opera and it was just kind of like, oh, to be able to work with him. Really, really cool. He worked very much on character development in an aria. So what is she thinking? Like, what just happened? Wait, what did what did he just say? Or what does what does the music tell you? What's happening in the piano that could give you a hint of how she feels or how you know the inner workings? <laughs> And also here, Felice Rendetici. Let's not I'll make you smile. We will make you make very, happy. very happy. I, I hear all the ideas you have. I think you can work them out more. Already when we start at the, at the beginning, really choose uh, what you're addressing. Mm -hmm. And so, hey, Capitano is already... Is, uh, no, 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 don't say Captain to me. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't want to go. He worked on a couple arias that he has sung himself, being a baritone, including this aria from The Marriage of Figaro called Non Piu Andrai. Let's see if you recognize the melody from a famous movie. It doesn't really work, does it? This aria, Non Piu Andrai, is actually from the opera The Marriage of Figaro, where Figaro, singing, is talking to the character that I would sing, Cherubino. Cherubino has to go off to war because he's been sentenced by the Count. And Figaro is just poking fun of him at him the whole time. Like, you will do no more nice food. Won't have any money, no more nice clothes, can't look at the, the ladies anymore. It's all over for you, but you will have honor and glory. That's your trade-off. What I loved about working with Thomas is how much attention he gives to the words. You really was like, how does that, how does that feel? How does that, how does, how does it sound when you, when you, when you sing it? What does it mean? Like very, very much into the words. Mozart has a very famous opera called Die Zauberflöte, or The Magic Flute. Multiple times in the opera, Zauberflöte is actually said. And it's such a gorgeous word and has so much magic in it anyway. Every time you sing it, it has to have something special. Die Zauberflöte. Die Zauberflöte. Die Zauberflöte. Bang, bang, I'm losing it! 
really helpful and really fun to just dive deep into all these words. Sounds weird that we would have to work that specifically on words, but sometimes when we're so focused on on what our voice sounds like and oh, is it in the right place? And whew, then we get really just so far away from what, what we're actually singing that it's nice to have a little reminder sometimes. Just like that. Come cambia in un punto il tuo destino. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, you love it. Yeah. But of course for him it's, oh. uh, So you, I think you can make more of punto. It's the short version. Mm -hmm. Roberta Alexander. Oh my God, what do I say about her? <laughs> she's crazy. No, she's a powerhouse. She's got this voice. I mean, damn. like she doesn't really perform anymore and I wish that I was knew anything about opera or perhaps was old enough to appreciate it at the time that she was still performing because her voice is incredible. Hella funny and American, which was just like, you know, she blew us away multiple times just demonstrating a note. You know, she hasn't warmed up. It's maybe not her repertoire, but just like. No. Whenever somebody can sing this aria, they do not have that B natural at all. So it goes, no, I'm <laughs> Love it, love it. <laughs> I laughed so much in her master classes and she was really, really helpful musically and worked on tiny little technical things if a singer needed it, but she didn't fixate on it, which I sometimes appreciate because Working on technique in a masterclass can be either hit or miss. Um, you know, you work with your teacher for months, years, whatever, on getting your technique exactly right, and then someone can come along and kind of confuse you to no end. So, yeah. So, you gotta be really careful with that. You gotta be really careful with technique in masterclasses. Thank you so much to the IVC for organizing this masterclass and for fighting for it to happen. Yeah! Even with this small format, there was so much doubt as to whether it was going to happen or not. Um, and they kept us safe. They put us all up in separate rooms in a hotel so that minimized con contact with each other, um, social distancing, distancing measures, everything. And I'm just so grateful to have been a part of it especially in these times when you know you're hanging on to a thread of anything that you can do and it was just it warmed my heart and soul so thank you thank you thank you ivc and of course thank you to all the masters who also came and gave us some of their knowledge it was a wonderful experience thank you so much and to the pianists who played for us and get none of the glory <laughs> Thank you so much. Hashtag, don't forget to thank your pianist. Pianist. If you would like to see the full masterclass videos and see masters working one-on-one -on -one with us, including me with Veselina Kasarova and all the other singers, go to the IVC YouTube channel, which I will link down below, and you can see all of us working with one of the masters. Go, 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 go.
Like I mentioned earlier, there was a concert at the end of the week and I would be such a bad YouTuber if I didn't record some behind the scenes action for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed so that you do not miss it. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up to support the channel. It means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Adio. And uh, because of COVID, we can't have a party, so. That's the end of the vlog. <laughs>